Hey boys and girls, this is your buddy Dave from Car Speed again, and uh, coming at you with another video. So I was I was planning on uh, well, I, let me back up. So I had a lot of questions uh, from people about you know what kind of decisions do we make at the racetrack? You know what kind of adjustments do we normally do? Do we change cross a lot? Do we change camber a lot? Do we just try to fix it with tires? You know how do we act? At the racetrack. So uh, I thought it'd be a great idea to, um, well, I take that back. I didn't think it would be a great idea. It was actually my wife's idea uh, to, to film us at the racetrack and then put that in a video so you guys could witness firsthand, you know, what the car speed racing team looks like at the racetrack. Well, that proved to be a little bit more daunting of a task than I thought it would be. Um, it is really hard to uh, to to film um, conversations and the the goings and comings at the racetrack um, because conversations and things like that kind of happen spontaneously, right? And it's hard to catch on the video. And I don't want to like recreate or reenact something uh, because that's not authentic, right? So anyway, it it proved to be a little bit harder than what I originally thought. So what I decided to do was take a hiatus uh, from that. Hiatus. A hiatus. Hiatus. You know what? I decided to take a pause from it. But so what I decided to do was switch gears and go to ha, another topic that I've been asked about, um, which this topic is a little is a little tough to talk about just because of how many different combinations and track size track sizes there are and different engines and different you know recommendations on rpms but i'm going to kind of keep it general um we're going to talk about gears today um now i have been accused in the past of my videos being a little long-winded <laughs> not that kind of wind Ugh. Uh, so what I decided to do to, to make the videos a little more compact I'm going to break down the subject gears into multiple uh, different videos so without further ado let's get started um, <clears throat> first off uh, when you're setting a gear on your go-kart there's two different gears to think about First, the clutch driver, some call it a sprocket. It's a tiny gear that, that uh, is in the clutch drum or bell housing uh, that is attached to the crank of the engine, okay? Uh, the second gear uh, is the gear that it attaches to the uh, gear hub that is then attached to the actual axle of the, um, of the go-kart that the tires are attached to. So whenever you change any of these two gears, it changes how the, the go-kart accelerates or it changes the top speed of the go-kart, okay? Um, whenever you do this, this will affect the engine's RPM. What does RPM stand for? It is revolutions per minute, all right? That really is just a measurement of how fast the crank is spinning inside the engine, right? So, with the driver, Whenever you change the gear size of the driver or sprocket on the clutch, whenever you go up with the uh, in teeth, if you go from let's say a 15 tooth driver to a 19 tooth driver, uh, you you gain more top end, okay, more more top speed. When you go down, let's say you go from a <clears throat> from a 20 to a 15, you don't have as much top speed. But you gain acceleration, meaning the go kart is going to take off faster. It's going to pull harder out the turns. All right. Well, let's say on the rear gear, it actually works the opposite. The larger or the more teeth you have on the on the rear gear, let's say if you go from a, a 55 rear gear 
to a 60, you're going to have more acceleration out of the turn and not as much top speed. And the engine is going to turn more RPMs. Well, if you go down uh, in, in, in gear size on the axle, let's say you go from a 60 to a 55 tooth gear, then you're going to have more top end speed, more top speed, but not as much acceleration. And it's a balancing act, right? Like you, you want, you don't want to have nothing but top speed, right? Because it takes, it will take the go kart forever and a day to get there. And therefore, if it takes too much time for it to reach the top speed, then you're never going to, to, to be able to reach it because the straightaways aren't but so long. So let's say if you go, well, David, I want all the top speed I can get, right? And I want the the, uh, the the most top end I can get. So you, instead of you know running what everybody else is running or something reasonable for the track size that you're at, let's say <coughs> just for an example, uh, for the the size track that you're on, because that matters. You're running the the an average gear is like a fifteen fifty five, just for example. Okay, and you go, well, I want as much top speed as I can get, and you put a twenty. 55 on well 20 being the 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 clutch driver and 55 being the axle yes your go-kart might be able to reach seven more mile an hour top speed however it might take it a mile to get there right well on on, on the size track that you're running the straightaway might only be 300 foot well you don't have enough straightaway to reach top speed so therefore your 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 engine is going to lug and you're never going to have enough acceleration um, to produce a fast lap time right on the other end you can't go well i want all the acceleration i can get i want it to really pull and drive about the turn well the negative to that is is that it's going to the more acceleration remember the less top speed that you have so then if you go okay well i'm going to go with a Instead of a 1555, which is what the gear should be, I'm going to go with a 1372, right? Well, the problem with that is, yes, you're going to have acceleration, but your top speed is going to be so low that when you get on the straightaway, people are going to run by you because they're producing a whole lot more mile per hour than you are. So again, it's a balancing act, right? So the first thing are the two gears. So so whenever whenever you hear people talking, that's what they're saying when they're all like, I'm on a 17, you know, 56 or I'm on an 1863. They're talking about the driver size tooth, how many teeth are on the 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 um the driver um sprocket or the driver gear, and how many teeth are on the axle gear. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me for this video. I tried to keep it as brief as I could. Um I appreciate you uh coming in and watching and uh Remember, you know, race is tough. Don't be leaving no speed in the trailer. <laughs>